Hello there, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Um, as you guys... Well, it depends how long you've been subbed, I suppose. But every now and again, I kind of go back and do an old game fantasy draft. Just because. It's kind of cool to see the players and see the big differences. Also, the soundtracks in these old games. Like, I'll just genuinely listen to the soundtrack because it's good. So I've done an NHL 06 one before, and we are back here again with NHL 06. So, yeah, time to go to Dynasty Mode, as it used to be called. Yeah, there it is. And sure, why not? All right, new... Let's go here, boys. The league name. Yeah, I don't. I never really got this, but I always just called it NHL because that just made the most sense to me. So we're going to go with NHL. What the heck? Oh, all right. I love this setting so much. Players fired for missed goals. Like, buddy, you can't be doing that. Get off my team. Could be like a 90 overall player. And just, no, you know what? Sick and tired of you missing the net. That one just... Set me over the limit. You're gone. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. I love that they were still called that then. Um, the Atlanta Thrashers. So I'm pretty sure... I love that Buffalo logo as well. But I'm pretty sure that there's no other teams that like don't really exist anymore at this point. I guess you could make an argument for Phoenix because they're Arizona now. But they didn't really do anything. They just moved. Quote unquote moved. Um, okay. Well. Huh. I, I kind of want to use the Thrashers. I just feel like I have to, man. I'm pretty sure they don't have the Baby Blues in this game either, which is sad. So I just realized, actually, once I, as soon as I loaded in, that I'm pretty sure you can't do a fantasy draft in Dynasty mode. I think it has to be season mode, which is unfortunate, but we're only going to do one year anyway, so does it really matter? No. Starting rosters, fantasy draft. Yeah. Um, was starting rosters an option here? Maybe you can do one. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, no, it has to be season. Okay. I love that you can set the season length, too. That's sick. But yeah, we'll go 82 games. Starting rosters, fantasy draft. Not world versus NA, which is... I don't even... Is this... When was the last time they've done world versus NA? I have no idea. Anyway, yeah, we're going east-west, even though it's really not going to matter to us whatsoever. Two-line passing? Uh, no. I don't think so. Get that off. And don't even think about editing my lines, you jabroni. CPUs can trade if they would like to. All right, let's do this. And I am going to pick the Thrashers, who are pick number 23. Okay, great. All right, begin draft. Here we go. Who are we going to get to pick from? I love how it just... Oh, we could just pick Govilchuk. Look at that. Govilchuk. Is that what I just said? Or is it just because of the headphones? Probably said Govilchuk because, as you guys know, I don't know how to speak. So... Man, who do I... Who do I take? Madonna was sick. I remember Madonna. Pronger was sick. There's a lot of great players here. Vinny? Should I take the cover boy? I'm kind of tempted. Fedorov. Saku Koivu. Love that guy. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the cover boy. Vinny. Le Cavalier. And you can see all the other picks here. So Forsberg, St. Louis, Luongo. 96 overall. Holy crap. Drew McGinley, 95. Interesting. All right. Oh, man. Saku Koivu's still here. I want to take him, but I don't want to have two centers. I mean, I maybe I will. <laughs> Won't hurt, right? Having two really good centers. Saku Koivu is the man. Uh, we still got Pronger as well. And on top of that, the only thing I don't like about this game, which is kind of annoying, I'm pretty sure you have to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to goalie. Or never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. This must be a different game I was thinking of. Maybe that's 03, actually. Gary Roberts. Rick Nash. All right. Well... Uh, Tange, he was cool, but you know what? I'm going to try to take players that... Oh my word, I have to take Kachuk. You guys know about this by now, probably, but... The Kachuks are my boys, so... Yeah, absolutely. Shane Doan, Eddie Bell for... Okay, there you go. There's the, the picks for this round. Kevin Weeks, Ladislav Nagy, and J.S. Shiger. Remember that guy, McGilney. Okay, let's go ahead... And maybe think about drafting a goaltender. I... Oh, man, I love Rear too. This is tough. And Al McInnes was sick as well. Ryan Smith, eh? All right, well, I'm going to take McInnes, and then we're... Oh, I saw Doug. Wait! This is just not fair. It's hard. This is harder than NHL 2020... Or, yeah, 2022 drafts. I don't know why I put the 20 in front of that. That's why it felt weird. But anyway, um, yeah, let's take a goalie, I guess. Oh, my word. Where'd they all go? Flower? Cujo? And Tebow, oh my word, I, I can't do this. Why do I do this to myself all the time? Go back to this game, it's just a big nostalgia trip. I do want to take Flower, but that's just like, we could take him in the current NHL, which I'm pretty sure he's like the same overall. He might, maybe he's 89. Yeah, he might actually be 89. So anyway, uh, Dominic Hasek. I'm debating between Cujo and Vokun. 
because Cujo's sick. But Vokun as well? Nah, let's go with Vokun. He's the higher overall. Rick DiPietro to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Look at that. Holy crap, that's a name I haven't heard in a minute. So I do need a right winger, and I don't care. I'm taking Henrik Zetterberg. Scott Stevens. Okay. Was not expecting that. I guess. I kind of want to take Foot if I'm going to be honest here. Stevens is sick and all, but Adam Foot, great defenseman as well. Daniel Sedin at 83 overall. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take Sedin. I still need a right winger, so I'm either going to take Zubris or Valerie Beret, and I think I'm going to take Beret. Yeah, let's let's go with Beret. Why is Scott Stevens still here? You know what? I'm just going to take him. Screw it. I don't know why no one's taking him, but I'll go ahead and scoop him up while I can, I suppose. Kyle Wellwood, 73 overall. What the heck? All right, yeah, there you go. That is Papa Nylander right there. Sammy Sallow, isn't that the guy that had that horrific, um, shall we call it a groin injury? I think it was. Linden, Scott Mellenby, Darcy Tucker. Man, there's so many good left wingers. Like, come on now. Mr. Game 7, or as I like to call him, Mr. Playoffs. <laughs> yeah, let's take him. Malone still isn't going either, and neither is Arnott, which is very weird to me. We only have one... I've only picked one center. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I'll take Arnott. Sure. Ron Francis and Chris Chelios. Huh. Let's go with Ronnie boy. And I might take Chelios if he's still there. How many defense do we have right now? Do we only have two? Or do we have more than that? Let's see. We have three. Okay. And Chelios is probably gone? No, he's still here. I'm going to take him. Okay, I'm going to take Darcy Tucker for our last left wing position. And we are actually, we're getting there slowly. Marcel Gotch, I remember him as well. Wayne Primo. Yeah, there's a lot of names on here. Okay, well, let's try to get this draft completed. Oh no, we still need a backup goalie. That's concerning a little bit. Uh, let's take Kozlov, I suppose. I don't really know why no one is taking some of these players, but I certainly will. Let's see what we have to work with here. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Kari Lettinen and Ty Conklin, John Graham, uh, Markinen. who do we take? Boucher? Yo, Boucher was sick. Dunham, Nitty Mackey, uh, Alex Ald, Caron. He's the one that made that, like, unbelievable glove save where Crosby, like, freaked out, I'm pretty sure. Garth Snow. Um, let's go with... Huh. Let's let's go with Boucher. I know Patrice Bergeron's in this game, which is unbelievable. And he's like a... I think he's 82 overall. Chris Kunitz, 70 overall. How about that? I'm going to take Lapierre as our last right winger. We need some grinders, I think. So, yeah, there we go. And then we just need... Is it two defensemen we need and we're good to go? Yes, it is. No, we need a centerman. Okay. Uh, Pierre Turgeon? Tom Foose. Legend. All right, yeah, let's take Vinny. Or do we take Rod Brindamore? I'm, I'm actually leaning towards Brindamore. Yeah, let's let's go with him. Why not? The current head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes. I'm going to take Malik just because he's the one that was wearing the Statue of Liberty Rangers jersey and did the between the legs goal in the shootout. Iconic. His celebration was equally as iconic as well. Uh, Chris Phillips. Just trying to... Sean Avery, 75 overall. All right. Huh. Yo, Anshapov was sick. No way! 72 overall, Brent Burns, baby! This is him, right? It's gotta be. He doesn't even have a picture, but he's a checker. 6 foot 4, 200 pounds, I think this is the Yeti. Okay, well, it says Brent Burns, so it's definitely him. Yeah, I'm taking him. I'm pretty sure I was equally as surprised last time we made one of these videos that he was in the game, but... It's just always so weird. Like, it, it is literally auto-drafting right in front of your eyes. That's, that's how it works here, so... We are genuinely just watching the draft happen just really fast. All right, this was the final round. Let's see if we know anyone here. Vernon Fiddler. That's a name I've heard before. Anyone else? Chris Armstrong sounds kind of familiar, but maybe not. Um, anyone? McCarthy, but no. Sean Thornton goes in the final round. If it's even that Sean Thornton, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, actually, am I thinking of Scott Thornton? No, I'm thinking of Sean Thornton, but I... Th okay, yeah, anyway. Um, Mark Bergevin to the Montreal Canadiens. 64 overall. Look at that. Well, let's edit lines and see what we got here. Best lines. Yeah. Okay. We have some very solid lines up until this last one. 
But I also did not draft Swanson, so you've got to go, bud. And who did... Who are we missing? Oh, we ended up getting Jason Williams as well. So if I'm not mistaken, the guy that I drafted was Lapierre. So I'm going to... Yep, and then I need to go scratch Swanson. Where are you? And... Hello? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yep, you're gone. I'm fine with having that miserable 30 chemistry last line. And then having these other amazing lines. Yeah, we are stacked. All right, yeah, let's um, check out our defense. Ooh, 90 and 100. Burns and Malik. And then Stevens and Chelios. Okay, okay. Yeah, looks good. In net, we have Vokun and Boucher. So I think we have a very solid team here. I think we're going to do well. Um, prediction time. Le Cavalier gets the most points with... I don't know how much points players get in this game. I'm going to say 105. Just because. And then, I'm going to say the team gets... 50 wins, sure. Oh yeah, you can't just scroll down. It'll just keep going on repeat. You have to actually move the month. I'm not sure if there's actually even a way to see our record. I believe we just kind of have to... Sit and watch and hope that there's more W's than L's on the screen. Fedor Tayutin and Dan Focht <laughs> for Brian Swanson and Jason Arnott. Yeah, I'm going to say no to that one. Yeah, how about um, absolutely no? Stop. Ron Francis has been suspended. I didn't know that could happen. Okay, well, let's just do assistant coach, replace player for now, and then... What? Wait, What? What just happened? They don't even have suspensions in the new NHL, do they? Oh, it's days, not games. Why? Like, that doesn't make sense to me, but I'm just happy they have it. That's kind of cool. All right, well, replace the player. And then when Mans comes back, I have to go do the lines again. Can we stop? Can we stop getting suspended? The longest All-Star break of all time. Today's the All-Star game. Would you like to stop? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Thanks, though. And... Kozlov, Boucher, and Messier for Tim Connolly, Nick Nicholas, and Matthew Guerron. That's going to be a no for me. I'm very curious to see what our record's going to be. I'm assuming we're going to be in the playoffs. I feel like we've definitely been getting more W's than L's. All right, stop. Oh, okay. It did stop. We're good. How do I see how well we did or how not well we did? Team standings? This should show it, right? So, New Jersey got... Oh, we came... Second in the league with 108 points, 51 Ws. I was close. I was close. New Jersey had 109. All right, so we were right there. Good stuff. Let's look at some player stats and see who did what. So if we sort by points, Kachuk had 93. LeCavalier had 91. Very decent. Zetterberg, 72. Let's go. McInnes was 60. Sedin, 50. All right, I'll just kind of scroll down here and show us everybody okay i guess it kind of shows people that didn't even play a game but yeah there we go i wonder how the goalies did let's go to that's this one then goalies where are you at too many rookies all right so a 266 goals against average boucher had a 176 and he went 9-2-0 and oh, and then vokun went 42 and 29 huh those save percentages i mean that's probably Sort of what it was back then, no? So in the entire league, it looks like Joseph had the... Wait, what? No. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Mark Denny. Is that how it's pronounced? I can't remember. I do remember him, kind of, but anyway. Uh, Jose Theodore, 45 wins. Broder, 43. Biram, 43. Okay, so that, there you go. There's some... Abisher! Remember a lot of these names. What about the say percentages of these guys? Yeah, so that's like... Just what it was. Iginla put up 137 points. boy. Rick Nash with 135. Kovalchuk, 124. Naslin put up a fair amount. Yager. What a guy. Daze with 116. All right. So there you go. There's a lot of players with over 100 points here. How can we already go to awards? Like, there can't... It can't be, right? No. Yeah, no. Okay, this is... We're good. We just need to simulate the rest of the playoffs, I believe. Do we stand a chance in said playoffs? Probably not. Are we gonna get first rounded? Okay, that's that's good stuff. Sim? Nice. We actually made it past round one. And we get Washington. Here we go. Nope, we got destroyed. It doesn't even matter that he's been suspended because we are out. So, congrats. Adam Foot's no longer suspended. Lovely. Well, I'm curious to go check out the awards now. Florida won the Stanley Cup. Let's have a look at the awards. Yep. Boom. Let's do it. 
So, as we just saw, Florida with the Stanley Cup. Aginla with the Hart. Good stuff. Aginla with the Art Ross. Kovalchuk with the Rocket Richard. Pronger takes home the Norris. The Calder goes to Marc-Andre Fleury. Love that. Andrew Raycroft with the Vesna. Daze with the Lady Bing. Uh, Chubarov with the Selkie. Aginla with the Con Smythe. Dwayne Rollison with the Jennings. Bill Masterton goes... To, okay, we walked home... With some hardware. That's good. Aginla with the Lester B. Pearson. The Jack Adams goes to Jacques Martin. We have uh, the President's Trophy in the hands of New Jersey. As we saw, Prince of Wales, Florida. Campbell goes to Chicago. And we are back to the start. So there we go. Kachuk killed it in the playoffs. 14 and 11. And then Le Cavalier and Zetterberg did well as well. But that's not why I'm here. I want to see who's on Florida's roster. The Stanley Cup winners. So they had... Oh. Okay, well, yeah, that uh, that's all I need to see, one, two. And they had Antropov, so that definitely helps. Okay, cool. And who was their goalie? Let's see, it's probably actually faster to go this way. Oh, they had Biron. Okay, they had, why do they have so many goalies? Telkfist, Ahonen, Biron, Leighton. Well, yeah, there you have it. That's my semi-occasional NHL 06 fantasy draft. That was fun. And yeah, I'm glad I did that actually. That was kind of cool seeing some of those names again. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.